I definitely don't claim to be a professional, but if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this at home. What's up everybody? Today we're working on white lightning. Let's go. Hey everybody. I tried to record outside, but the, the noise level is just way too much for the microphone to pick up. So anyways, today we're working on white lightning. The headliner, falling down, hit me in the head, and I'm a short guy, so anybody taller than me is definitely going to have an issue. So let's go ahead and get that target top unbolted and out of the car. We'll get going. Saggy headliner. No good. It is hot today. Whew. All right, this headliner is just glued into the top from what I've read online, and you can see this fabric is loose. So we gotta get that out of there, take the fabric off. When dealing with any kind of fabric, you always wanna try and use plastic tools when possible. You can get these at Harbor Freight. These are interior pry tools. Uh, if you have one of these that's flexible, that's okay, but these are better so you don't damage things. We're just going to get under here and pry it up. As you can see, it's coming up fairly easy. Just take your time. Take your time and work it. Didn't even use this at all. That is it. As you can see, the fabric is coming off. What well, we're going to have to do to this remove this fabric we're gonna have to take a wire brush we need to get all this crumbling mess see it's crumbling we got to get all of that off when I first did the headliner in old blue which was oh my goodness the late 90s I'm guessing my buddy was the one that taught me that you take a wire brush you get all this off you use the 3m super 77 glue and you don't have any issues Old Blue's headliner is still intact. Like I said, late 90s. It's now 2023. So we're going on 25 years and it hasn't come down yet. So I think that's the way to go. As you can see, this is a really, really messy job. Don't do it inside if you don't have to. I highly suggest wearing a mask, even though I didn't. You just want to get all the loose stuff off. I took it down a little too far, I think, in the middle here, but that's all right. It's going to be covered up. You want to get all the loose stuff off so when you put the glue on, it has something to adhere to. But at the same token, you don't want to ruin the headliner card itself. Not a big deal. You can make one, but it's easier if you just save this one. As you can see, this old fabric has the foam built right into it, and over time it just lets go. So, 
I bought some new head and liner material from my local fabric store and that's what we're going to use. This new headliner material has the foam backing, just like the original stuff. This is the good stuff. We're gonna lift this up, we're gonna spray it. We're going to spray the fabric, we're going to let it sit for a couple minutes to get tacky, and then we're going to just push it together. I like to put the fabric on a flat surface, that way it's completely flat and you can push the headliner down on top. Other people will tell you different, they'll put the headliner down and the fabric on top. This is just the way I like to do it. And it's very hot today, as I already mentioned, so this is already starting to tack up. I'm going to use the old eyeball 5000 and we're going to trim, I don't know, we're going to leave it eh, maybe an inch and a half, two inches large so we can wrap it around. So I'm going to cut that. When I put the slits in there, I don't cut it all the way to the headliner itself. I, I leave probably a quarter to a half an inch, that way I can fold it in. And then you won't see the seams, hopefully. So as we get to the edge here, fold it up, and then just give it a little snip, just to kind of get it out of the way. Just like that. You'll never see this, so it's not exactly a professional upholstery job, which is a good thing, because I'd be spending much more time if that was the case. But this right here is going to be absolutely perfect. We're going to call that upholstered. No more hanging fabric. We're going to do the same thing to the top itself. Making sure we get a good coat of glue around the edges. And in the middle. Alright, the glue is nice and tacky. And again, you don't want to let this sit too long, because then, then you have to re-glue.
there it is. Now, is this perfect? Absolutely not. There's wrinkles. Hopefully, they'll flatten out over time. But the good news is, I don't ever look up when I'm driving the car. And when I do, the roof is usually out. So, we're going to call this done. This was a quick little project. Didn't take me long at all. I'm guessing less than an hour. I didn't actually time it. But, listen, if you have a project like this, and you don't feel like you don't, you're scared to take it on because you don't know, YouTube it. That's why I'm making this video, so you can watch it. I'm not exactly the brightest bulb on the tree, and I got it done. So if I can do it, you can. So, what did I learn today? Nothing's impossible. All right, almost nothing. But we're going to go with that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.